All right, so also asked to be in this meeting by Don Jr. was Jared Kushner and Paul Manafort, the former campaign manager of Donald Trump, who left in August. Paul Manafort recently, as of last month, having to register as a foreign agent because of the money he was receiving uh, working for pro-Russian affairs in the country of Ukraine. So all of this is coming after the president gave details uh, about that meeting the other day with Vladimir Putin at the G20 and confirmed some things this morning in a tweet storm with President Trump saying that he strongly pressed Putin on election meddling, but sanctions were not discussed and that it was time to move forward. Now, the president didn't say if he agreed with Putin's denial of election interference, saying he's already given his opinion. Priebus answered for the president today, saying it was a no. The president absolutely did not believe uh, the denial of, of President Putin. What the president did is he immediately came into the meeting, Russian meddling in the U.S. election, went after that issue at least two separate times. So many Russia questions to talk about with our panel that are here with me now. Joining me, former DNC chair, Governor Howard Dean, CNBC editor-at-large, John Harwood, and former U.S. attorney, Joyce Vance, and former Rand Paul staffer, Brian Darling, founder of Liberty Government Affairs. It's good to have you all here. Uh, Governor Dean, let me just dive in with you first on this. Uh, do you believe Don Jr. now coming clean, because originally this was not the first tale he told about why this meeting was set up with the attorney. Now we understand and have it confirmed from him that this was to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. Yeah, that, I don't believe that either. But uh, uh, for, there's a lot of things that are, are clearly not true. The first is that, that Mr. Trump, President Trump, had no idea that this was going on. If his campaign manager, his son-in-law, and his son were in this meeting, to think that Donald Trump didn't know anything about this meeting is ridiculous. Second of all, like, this lady is very close to the FSB, which is the follow-on of the security service, the KGB, from the old Soviet times. Mm -hmm. So the idea that she is some person that's going to spread dirt about Hillary Clinton, this is also bupkis. Third, the most interesting thing is Ryan Priebus, I think, just earned himself a subpoena, because what he said isn't true either, and he's now going to be put under oath. All three of these folks are going to have to say this under oath uh, to Bob Mueller, and if they do, uh, they're probably going to be convicted of perjury eventually. All right, so here's the other interesting nugget that we get out of this, John, uh, is the official Don Jr. statement saying, I was asked to have a meeting by an acquaintance I knew from the 2013 Miss Universe pageant with an individual who I was told might have information helpful to the campaign. I was not told her name prior to this meeting. Uh, and the interesting part is, I was with Donald Trump Sr. in 2013 in Moscow, John, for the Miss Universe event that NBC had there. I don't recall seeing Don Jr. in Moscow, but it was there at that time in an interview with the president where he said to me that he did personally have a relationship uh, with Vladimir Putin. Uh, but now Don Jr. is saying that this is through an acquaintance I knew from the 2013 Miss Universe pageant. Again, that was held in Moscow. Uh, do you think that Don Jr. is really telling the truth about the connective tissue here? And as the governor is pointing out, that Donald Trump could be unaware that such a meeting was happening. Thomas, I don't see how any reasonable person could believe what Donald Trump Jr. has said. First of all, he initially, when the New York Times interviewed him this March, said he couldn't recall any meeting with Russians. He said, oh, I'm sure I met with some, but nothing that was set up, none that I recall at the moment. Then yesterday, after the Times got this story, what he said was, well, we discussed adoption. It was somebody that I didn't know what they were, uh, who the person was. Somebody asked me to have a meeting. I had a meeting. Now he's saying that uh, he had a meeting on the explicit understanding that he was going to get damaging information about Hillary Clinton from the Russians. You also have a statement from Jared Kushner, who said that Donald Trump Jr. had asked him to attend the meeting. Now, if you were, uh, uh, if you were Donald Trump Jr. and you think this is an insignificant meeting, why would you ask Paul Manafort and Jared Kushner to attend, in addition to what Governor Dean just said about the lack of believability of the idea that Donald Trump, who was the candidate, would not be told by his campaign manager, his uh, son-in-law, or his son uh, about a meeting to get damaging information about his